many times you may wander away from the path of truth or you may just need to reconnect and you know get some of that fresh holy spirit oil um, in this video i wanted to talk about how to get spiritually or stay spiritually connected to god so don't you go anywhere and stay right there nice of you to join me here yet again um, like I always say grab your coffee your tea your juice any snack anything that is gonna take you through this lesson and if you're new here hi my name is Milna uh, aka the blessed child as well and I know that you too are the blessed child if you're already a subscribed member welcome back fam you know how we do share you know don't be selfish okay and okay so um, shout out to Nasuga Jenna I know she personally requested this video and it will be helping I know tons and tons of people out there so brace yourself girl I got you um, wanted, to, wanted to talk about how do you stay spiritually connected to God it's like today you have it and then tomorrow you know you slack off and you kind of miss it so today I wanted to give you some pointers on how to stay spiritual to stay spiritually connected to god and my very number one these i cannot stress this enough i feel like i talk about it a whole lot in my videos and that is you being in the word you have to stay in the word because i feel like the word is like god's love letter to us right like how else would you know what what he requires of you if you don't read the word it is a book full of wisdom everything that entails to life is in that book i keep saying it if you watch my video um 10 basic facts about salvation you'll find that everything that pertains to life is literally in the bible there is nothing new under this sun and there is a word for every situation that you go through when you want to hear more from god you go into his word his word entails all kinds of principles to live by you know the godly way his word is the lamp and light unto my feet why do i say that because in his word you find direction conviction transformation protection the bible teaches you to unlearn things or myths or stuff that you probably thought were true to life but no you when you choose to go by the standards of the word of god the bible entails a lot of wisdom a lot of direction a lot of conviction and when you read the word there is transformation that takes place it brings you closer to God it makes you know the heart of God you know for your life um, he speaks to us through his word so if you want to stay spiritually connected to God your number one item should always be the Bible the Bible so and these days the Bible is accessible everywhere you can have your hard copy and um, there's all kinds of apps that you can download on your phone or your computer you, you know just so you know you have the bible going for you so that is your passport you really need it you know when i was younger we used to sing a little song read your bible pray every day pray every day pray every day read your bible and pray every day if you want to grow if you want to grow spiritually you are gonna to have to read your bible every day right if you want to set yourself and have discipline you could set yourself to like probably read at least read one chapter a day at least read one chapter a day and meditate upon it what did you read what like when you read what did you learn out of what you just read you, you don't just read for the sake of you know reading and it's not a competition it is not a competition to nobody nobody's gonna give a prize of who finished the Bible you know in a year no you read to understand you read to seek the heart of God about issues about a matter and when you read the Word of God you meditate about it when you meditate about the Word of God that's where transformation comes from because it says somewhere in the book of James that it's foolish of some of you to for you to read the to, to read the word of God and then forget about it. It's like you're going to look at yourself in the mirror and two seconds when you turn away from it, you already forgot what you look like, if you get what I'm saying. So the intention and purpose of you reading the Bible is you, you meditate upon what you've read about and let that word walk in you and through you, transform you into the likeness of 
the character and mindset of God. So it does, yes, it does bring direction, conviction, transformation, protection, all the shuns, yes. <laughs> so, and my point number two, in prayer, prayer is God's love language. Prayer is communication between us and God. Prayer is one way we stay connected to God. You, how do you expect God to move in your life unless you pray? Right? Or gonna have to always pray. Um, it's the first thing you do when you wake up, the last thing you do when you go to bed. The very same effort you put in communicating with your friends, with your family, you know, um, is the same effort, even double, double the effort in communicating with God. Pray to God. Literally, you can pray to God and tell him anything and everything. At least he won't go behind your back, <laughs> right? And you pray, you pray his word back to him in accordance to his will. Well, there's been times when I've been heavy laden and when I go into prayer, you know, you come up feeling like a sudden weight has been lifted off your shoulder. Jesus Christ said that come unto me all you are heavy burden and I'll give you rest. Pray without ceasing. I know for a fact that our friends, the Muslims, they pray about five times a day. And the Bible says that pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing in every in every circumstance, in every moment. Let it be, let, let you be joyful, let you be sad. Prayer is the very prayer is a weapon. Prayer is a weapon. You know, and the different types of prayers. You can worship is a form of prayer, praise is a form of prayer, or even as you're talking is a form of prayer. Speaking it in tongues is a form of prayer. You know, that your spirit is talking to God. And um, when you pray, chains are broken. When you pray, situation situations change. When you pray, mountains move. When you pray, you get to hear God's heart for you, his will for you. When you pray, pray. So if you want to stay connected, oh, set time aside for you to commune with your heavenly father. If you have, if you got to wake up early, just so you can secure an hour, you know, to go into the presence of God and pray, do that. Pray, make it a point to pray right before you go to bed or right before you go to sleep. Stay connected through prayer. I cannot emphasize this a lot. Pray, pray, pray. Prayer moves the hand of God and situations will indeed change if you pray in His will. You cannot stay spiritually connected to God if you do not pray. Read the Bible and then pray in His word. This takes me back to the song that I was singing earlier. Read your Bible and pray every day. Pray every day. Pray every day. Read your Bible and pray every day if you want to grow. So that's a, Bible, that's a song that I learned when I was in preschool. If you want to grow spiritually and stay connected, you have got to stay in prayer. This one is fasting so and prayer. You can pray without fasting, but you cannot fast and not pray or else that will be a hunger strike. Fasting is when you set some time aside so that you can seek God, you know, get to hear from God. With, with fasting, you intentionally stay away from food. It could be food. Um, there's very many types of fast. There's a regular fast where you fast from food and only drink water. And this could probably go be, uh, in 12 hours, you know, from maybe 6 p.m. or from 6 a.m. up until 6 p.m. That's a regular fast. I do those a whole lot. There is a dry fast or the ester fast. This is a three day fast. Uh, with no food and no water there is a daniel fast where you're only doing um just drinks and maybe vegetables so these different kinds of fast basing on what reason you basing on what reason you are seeking the lord for when you decide to go into a fast you want to keep your mind focused on god you want to keep your mind focused on you know content that is God best or faith best. You want, to, you want to make sure that you're staying in the word. You want to make sure that you're being prayerful. You want to be intentional about you know, your atmosphere, keeping um, being godly and all. So when you, entail, when you entail fasting, you want to be intentional. If you fast without praying and reading the word, honey, you are just on a hunger strike. You're just refusing to spend the day without eating. Because what's the point? Or if you're not eating and starving your body, but you are not really feeding your soul. So if you decide to fast, be intentional. Shut all the other voices out. Stay away from social media because all that all that's noise that you don't want coming in, you get rid of the distractions. Um, let them stay out. Uh, the benefits of fasting, um, 
it's a spiritual opening um, for you to hear from God more clearly because when you make up your mind to like you know shut out the outside distraction the outside noise you're being intentional that you want to communicate to the father and he'll be able to reveal certain things to you as well so when you fast and pray it's like a mode of spiritual warfare chains are broken you know the Jesus Christ said that some of these some of these some of these spirits may go away through fasting and prayer when you want to go through a spiritual deliverance sometimes it's wise for you to set to take some time away just to seek the Lord and fast 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 and pray um, that's when situations are changed that's when chains are broken that's when the Lord um, reveals himself more to you fasting kills the flesh and, and enhances humility towards God I find that when I fast you know the, the Spirit of God will highlight maybe certain areas in my life and he'll literally tell me that you know you need to let this go you need to let he'll basically um, let out maybe a scene that you were taking for granted or you are not really paying attention to he will bring it to um, he will bring it to your notice and that will bring you into full-blown repentance so fasting kills the flesh and it makes you be humble and be able to be receptive towards the Spirit of God so that you can hear more from Him and what He has to say. A lifestyle and, of worship and praise. Well, lifestyle of worship and praise, that also helps you stay spiritually connected to God. When you listen to worship music, when you listen to praise worthy music, earlier when I said, you know, uh, when you're happy, you know, there's praise music that's thanking God that's praising God for his goodness for uh, for his sovereignty for who he is you acknowledging who he is you know and um, when that's time for you and God you want to set it aside you know create a lifestyle of worship create an atmosphere of worship uh, lots of gospel music worship songs that will help you through through um, your journey as you're trying to stay spiritually connected and my next point is you want to stay in fellowship with fellow believers yes um, and I don't mean that you only have to go to church on Sundays no I feel like these days um, <laughs> there's lots of avenues that you can stay in fellowship just for the sake of communing with your fellow brethren or your brothers and sisters in Christ just for the sake of of sharing bread of the Word of God fellowship with fellow brethren um, it enhances or encourages unity in the body of Christ if we have a fellowship of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit um, the Bible says that you know do not forsake gathering when you gather Jesus said that we're two or three are gathered together in my name I'm in their midst when we gather together and we entail corporate prayer you know the Bible says that one can chase a thousand but two 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 together chase a fleet when we combine together and, and fellowship and break the word of God in union, in love, you will find that, you know, you'll be encouraged. Maybe today you showed up, um, you know, with low vibration energy and, you know, somebody or, you know, your pastor or whoever, the, 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 the person that's sharing the word the day will come with a word of encouragement, uh, you know, to uplift your spirits, will come with a word to teach you to take into deeper revelation of, of the knowledge and the word of God. Fellowship is very very important yes set some time alone for yourself to pray and hear God for yourself but it's also important for you to you know commune with uh, in, to find a community and commune with uh, with lots of believers of the same faith I per se I have probably about six <laughs> six groups of wonderful men and women of God brothers in Christ sisters in Christ that love the Lord that we commune together you know we come together to do Bible study and when we're doing Bible study we break the word father in different knowledge and revelation of of his word we pray together there is power in in unity there is power. I mean no the enemy doesn't like us the enemy really fights communion with with uh, or being together being united but there is power in fellowshipping with one another you can fellowship as a family I fellowship with with my family you know we 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 read the word together we try to get knowledge wisdom and understanding of the word so fellowship fellowship with your families fellowship at, as you commune at your churches um, not only at the churches but you know even outside the church what are the next point is um, be mindful of the company that you keep 
yes if you want to grow spiritually strong in god or stay connected you want to stay you want to be mindful of the company that you keep the bible says that do not be mistaken bad company corrupts good morals you cannot be trying to go west and then your company is going east you know the bible says that can two work together unless they agree if you find out um, that you want to achieve a certain goal and you are not going to commune or involve or surround yourself with you know with people that have beliefs or a mindset that's contrary to what you want to achieve but you are instead going to dwell around people that have the same motive as you that have the same sense of direction as you that are hungry for the word of god that want the presence of god upon their lives those are the people that you are going to want to stay around okay what does what does righteousness have in common with darkness you know if i want to get closer to god pray more and my friend a you know is is interested you know it may be smoking and you know indulging in drinking indulging in all the fleshly desires that the bible wants us against and i want to make my life more more pure before god i want to make my life straight before god um because of our desires being different we are going to have to part and go our separate ways because i want to make my life better you know living in the word of god and you know and if they choose the other path then we are going to have to go separate ways you're going to have to choose people that have the same direction and focuses you have so and the people that we surround ourselves with have a great deal of influence on us i know that, that the word the the world says that you know you are your behavior and tells like you know show me your five closest friends and i'll tell you who you are you know <laughs> you mirror who you surround yourself with all the time media outlets we have songs we have movies before you sit down to engage in maybe a movie or a song you want to be careful um you know what is the message that that is being portrayed in this song or the movie that i'm watching the same way you know um, gospel music holy spirit filled anointed gospel music can in can bring a transformation to your life because you are worshiping god you know you when you want to stay spiritually connected you want to be very mindful of what you listen to and what you watch we and um, once again i bring another song when i'm um, growing up in preschool we used to sing the song oh be careful little eyes what you see oh be careful little ears what you hear for the father up above is watching down in love so be careful little eyes what you see be careful why because eyes are a gateway to your soul ears are a gateway to your soul what you watch um unconsciously is what will be playing in your mind you are being programmed by the things that you watch you're being programmed by the things that you listen to when you expose yourself to um faith-based content like here you know you are going to be filled with the spirit of god you want to be led by the spirit of god but i feel like media these days um it also influences your character by the way it influences your character it influences the way you think it influences the way you the, the decisions that you're going to make i'll give you an example i remember back in the day um there is an artist that i love 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 so much but even before i was like strongly connected to god i realized that you know her music was was always sad you know it was <laughs> it was always talking about heartbreaking heartbreaks and you know it made men out to look like they were dogs and pathetic and so i felt like in me it created a sense of fear like oh my god like you know all that these men out here are just <laughs> there's not a good soul out here you know because of the music that i was listening to because of the movies i was watching you know so much negativity is released in the media that it, that it brainwashes you to think that you know life is supposed to be that way um i feel like the music these days you know you want you if you see the propaganda or the agenda that it promotes there's a whole lot of, there's a whole lot of promiscuity that is being promoted and uh, of profanity and a lot like so many things are being fed to the younger generation and the more you listen to this music what how do you feel do you walk away feeling prideful conceited you know feeling like you know yeah 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 i'm the bad you know you're the baddest inciting pride in you spirits are being released in this you know when you listen to the secular music 
And the same way the Spirit of God is being released when you listen to uh, gospel music. And the best example that I can use in the Bible is when Saul was rebellious to God, when he had already become rebellious to God, um, the Lord released a demonic spirit to come and torment him. And when it tormented him, David went on the harp. And once he started playing that harp, you know, that musical instrument, the an anointing that, that arose from playing that harp. And immediately the demonic spirit that was tormenting Saul at the, that very moment, it left him. Music is very, very powerful. Entertainment is very powerful. I for one, I'm not the kind, I'm not the type, like I'm very cautious. My mind is very cautious. I, um, I always want to make sure, uh, you know, everything that I'm reading, everything that I'm watching, that I'm listening to, um, I want to be cautious of what am I introducing in my spirit. So if you want to stay spiritually connected to God, you want to stay away from content that is not faith best or that is not of God, because that will literally derail the purpose of you. If you keep listening to, you know, stuff that is or watching stuff that is not God driven or Holy Spirit led, it derails the purpose of you trying to stay connected to God, right? Um, and it makes it way, way harder. You want to keep your mind, your spirit, your soul pure. So you want to be mindful of what you listen to, what you expose yourself to. Not everything out there is good. So basically, you want to cultivate an atmosphere of worship. You want to cultivate an, an atmosphere of prayer. You want to be mindful of who you're spending your time with, who you're around. You know, get yourself mentors, people that fear the Lord. And this also goes into uh, spouses. That's why the Bible tells us, you know, um, you know, not to be unequally yoked not be unequally yoked with unbelievers because like i said if they want to go west and you want to go east you know how can two walk together unless they agree so yeah those are my pointers for you staying spiritually connected so i hope this was very helpful to you and and let me know whatever it is that you know we want to talk about and never forget that i am the blessed child and obviously you are the blessed child as well so i'll be seeing you around and if you haven't yet Come on now, hit the subscription button and don't forget to share this word to whom you think may benefit from it and hit the notification bell so every time I upload a new video, you will be the first to know. Okay, so I'll see you again next time. Toodles.